Okay, hello everybody. So today we are going to do a read, a much requested read for Cleo Smith, um, a little four-year-old girl I know is missing from Australia. Apparently she went missing um, on a camping trip with her parents. Um, I don't know a lot about the case, but I do know that she apparently went camping with her parents um, and they woke up in the morning and she was gone. Okay, so I'm going to get the card shuffled up while I do that. If you have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. That helps with the algorithm. And please give this video a like. We have not started yet, so I will not be keeping that out. I want to get the cards shuffled up good before we start. Okay, so I'm going to ask my ancestors, my spirit guides, my guardian angels, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, please connect with us to give the information that we need to know regarding little Cleo Smith, what has happened to her, anything that you can give us to help maybe find her. That's my ancestors. This is the situation regarding Cleo Smith, little four-year-old girl, Cleo Smith. For those of you who have, have not seen the Ancestor Reads before, I will explain this to you. This is the situation. This is the main part of the situation. This is what we got to look into deeper. And this is in the secret position, which means it's not been talked about yet. It's not been said. It's been hidden, stuff like that. we got to look into, into this deeper. And this is in the main part. Okay, so right away in the main part of the situation, I've got somebody that was obsessed. Now... Depending on what comes out with this, it can mean a lot of different things. But right now, I'm seeing somebody was obsessed. Okay? With what we got to look into deeper, I'm seeing somebody with a drinking or a drug problem. And in the secret position, I've got something about a fire. Now, this can obviously mean a, a fire, or this could mean heated, aggressive arguments. Now... We get all the cards out first, and then we go in for clarification on the cards. So this is the situation as it stands right now. Now we are going to go in for the messages. So I ask my ancestors to please reveal the messages regarding little Cleo Smith, four years old, missing from Australia. Can you please give us the information that we need to maybe help find her, find out what went on with her, what happened to her, any information will be helpful. So my ancestors, please connect with my spirit guides to give us the answers that we seek. So ancestors, for the messages regarding little Cleo Smith. move these over so you guys can see everything okay so again this here this is the head this is the end this is in between okay this is the main part of the situation so this here and across here is going to tell us exactly what happened this here just gives us more information and clarification on all of this so this is the main part of the situation. The head attaches to each. This is what we got to look into deeper. And this is what's being hidden and in the secret position. Okay. So right away at the head, I've got a form of thank you. So somebody is thanking 
thanking us for doing this read. I've got SOS help. Somebody was screaming out for help or somebody had help. We will know exactly this will all come together when we get the clarification cards on top of this. Okay. So each of these cards are going to be clarified, but I see some kind of help either being asked for or somebody had help. I've got that it's involving a partner and this partner was, I believe, obsessed. So if you want to know what I am getting right now, seeing what has come out, there was a partner involved and that partner had help. Okay. Or couldn't help himself. But I'm getting this is the mother's partner and was obsessed with Cleo. Okay. But this may change. Let's see what comes out to clarify. But the, intuitively, my, my ancestors are screaming this at me. It involves the partner and the partner could have had help. Um, now, I don't know who this could be yet, but we will find out. Again, what we got to look into deeper here. Okay. This is the beginning. This is the end. This is the in-between. So this partner is going to have either a drinking or a drug problem. Okay. But we got to look into this deeper because there was some kind of violence that happened with Chloe. This is not a good card to have because this is in the end. Okay. So I don't want to say it yet, but this leads to one way of how this is going to end. Okay. Um, could she just be injured at this point? Yes. We'll see what comes out to clarify this. But this partner that is involved in between, thankful now for doing this read and thankful for this information coming out and in between the ending, which ended in violence, this person had a drinking or drug problem. And I'm getting that it's the partner. The partner was obsessed and had some kind of help, some form of help with what we don't know yet. Okay. We're getting the thank you. The thank you is going to stay in the head for this whole read. We're being thanked for this finally coming out. Okay. This is Chloe thanking us or Cleo. Sorry. I keep saying Chloe because I have a niece named Chloe. Anyway, Cleo is thanking us for doing this and getting this out. So in the secret position here, somebody is causing a distraction and this is a loved one, a loved one of Chloe's, Cleo's, sorry. I keep saying Chloe. I got my niece on my mind. Um, somebody, a loved one is causing a distraction and I believe it's, mm, okay, I don't want to say yet because I'm getting a picture in my head here. But there is a loved one of Cleo's causing a distraction. And there's been heated arguments over this. And this could also mean somebody felt like they got burnt. And I think it's this loved one. So this could be the mother. The mother causing a distraction because she feels like she got burnt. Like, and I, I don't mean like burnt, like a burn with a fire. Like she got burnt, like um, cheated out of something. Um, but I got it, this loved one causing distraction and there was a big fight. There was a big fight. There was a fight. I'm telling you right now, there was a fight and this loved one felt like she got burnt. So got lost, out of it got taken out of something. Something was taken from her or something like that. You know, when you say, um, I burned that guy and not physically burned, but burned them for something or some way. So let's see what the heck is going on and get clarification on all these cards. So right now I'm going to ask my ancestors for clarification on the, the situation, which is these bottom three cards, the obsessed, the obsessed, the drinking problem or drug problem and this fire. Can we get clarification, please? How does this pertain to Chloe? What was going at uh, Cleo? Sorry. What is going on? Too many way too many can we narrow it down to maybe one or two that come out if need be 
We have some clarification on the situation with Cleo, Cleo Smith. Why is he assess the drinking drug problem and the fire there? What are you trying to tell us? Okay. See? Mail. Right away. There we go. Okay. So, before these cards even come out, remember I said this look is looking more to me like the mother, and this is the mother's partner, a male. Okay? So, we're reading this way right now. We will get into all that up there. So, the male was obsessed with Cleo. Now, why was he obsessed? Was this something nefarious? Was this something... We don't want to speak about, but there was some kind of obsessed with this. I believe this is the mother with her partner who is male was obsessed with Chloe. Uh, Cleo, sorry, I keep saying Chloe. Spirit and my ancestors know who I'm talking about. Even if I make a mistake and say Cleo instead of uh, Chloe or Chloe instead of Cleo, they know who I'm speaking of. I've got my my little niece on my mind for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but And she's around Cleo's age. Just saying. The curl. When we get the black curl, this is no good. This is deception, false friends, infidelities, stuff like this. So I do believe that this male who was obsessed with Cleo also had a drinking or drug problem and there could have been some other problems there too that he had. The crow is deception, infidelity. So he could have been also messing around on the mother of Chloe. Cleo, sorry. Cleo, Cleo. We're reading this way. There was a huge fight. This is a heated, aggressive argument with the female who is also a loved one of Cleo. Something bad happened and they know. They know. Let's go in for clarification now on the messages. This mother is causing a distraction. So maybe she has found out what he did and has helped covering it up. So let's go in. I ask my ancestors and my spirit guides, please give us clarification on the messages. There's two that just came out. We will read them in the end. Please give us clarification. For those of you who don't know how this works, any cards that pop out like that during the read, um, I read at the end because I believe it's the person I am reading who is Cleo has something more she wants to add to the read that she doesn't think is going to come out in the read. So let's go in for clarification, please, on the messages regarding little four-year-old Cleo Smith and what has happened to her. Clarification on the messages regarding Cleo Smith. So what I'm getting now is light with the thank you. This is in the head. She's saying thank you for bringing everything to light. Okay, so this partner had some kind of help, maybe from somebody from his employment. This could also be somebody that, that this partner... Um, had around a lot or he helped with the situation okay so it doesn't have to necessarily mean the employment it could be you know how we got deployment like they've been deployed deployment stuff like that the employment can actually also mean 
that this person that helped this male is somebody who is either around a lot, lives close by, or is in the neighborhood of where they live. But this person helped this partner, this male, who was obsessed with Chloe. And this is not in a good way. I'm going to put it out there. Again, this is, in my opinion, only entertainment purposes only, but this is becoming very clear to me what is going on. So again, at the top, Cleo is very thankful for this coming to light. You get the violence within between worlds. Okay, so I do not think, um, I don't think that, I don't personally think that Cleo is still alive. And if she is, it's not going to be for much longer because I've got the between worlds with this violence that happened with her. You see this? We're reading this way. This is what we got to look into deeper. The crow. There's, whoever these two people are, they have a drinking or a drug problem. There's, there's drinking and drugs involved there somehow. But this crow tells it all. Okay? The crow is is basically the worst one of the worst cards that you can get. Okay? Especially when you get it this way and it's in the main part of the situation. And you get the crow with the male and the female heated aggressive arguments over this obsession. This there's nobody on the outside. She I don't feel she was abducted. I feel the parents are involved. This male and this female. Um, and this male is between worlds. I think he's he's not who he says he is. Infidelities. Bad news. Bad omens. Everything bad. The crow brings everything bad. I believe he did something to Cleo. And it's ending in violence. So if she's not already past it's not going to be long before she is but i i'm getting the feeling that she's already gone to the light okay and this person that helped is in is either very close to this guy is around a lot and would also probably have drinking and drug problems okay now with what we got to look into deeper there's a party of three there's three people Okay, so this could be the parents and the somebody else, and they're all causing a distraction now. This loved one is being a snake, and I've got it's a female. I think that um, I think that this female could have known something was off, something wasn't right, and did nothing about it until it was too late. But this is telling me everything right here. There was the male partner who was obsessed with Chloe. The crow. I've already explained this. This is bad infidelities, bad omens, harm being brought. And I don't know so much about the mother, if the mother has a drinking and drug problem too, but I know for sure that this male does. This male did something to Chloe. Cleo, sorry. The mother has either come to know about it, but she has some indica in indication about what happened. And these three that are involved are causing a major distraction. Cleo is just happy that this is being brought to the light. And this could also mean that she has now crossed to the light. Okay, here we go. They're not being honest about this child. She is... Cleo is telling us they are not being honest. I believe this is the male and this is the female that were there that night. And Cleo is telling us right here, she's glad things are being brought to the light. And the child is telling us that they're not being honest. They're causing distractions. There's a lot of distractions and a lot of shady shit going on here. So Sorry to say it that way, but this is what I believe. This came out fast and furious right here. Okay. 
fast and furious. And I do believe that there was heated aggression between this male and female regarding this. But I do feel that she may have crossed over into the light. If she isn't crossed over yet, she's on her way there. Um, this is a very gray area because I've got the between worlds. So it may be that this is what they are planning to do. Like she has to be murdered. But this guy is also between worlds. So is this one. There's hide in the violence that's been done. So if she hasn't already crossed over, it's it's not going to be long. But this this says it all. This is, don't forget, this is the main part of the situation, right? Right here. And this is the situation. The male was obsessed with Chloe. This is bad, 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 bad intentions, bad things, bad omens, infidelities. And I think that this is something that he's done before, too. They could have both done it. But she's hiding something. She, I think she might have come to find out what happened. And she's hi helping hide this. Or it's being hidden from her. But I see a distraction with this loved one. This female loved one. So that is my read, you guys. I may do an updated read um, with the other decks. I My first read is always with the Ancestor cards. <coughs> because it this is the deck that I'm connected most to because it is based on my ancestors okay so that is my read you guys um like i said if you have not subscribed please hit that subscribe button it's right down it's right down here somewhere down 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 here um please click on that um i appreciate all your support and please give this video a like and um when you do subscribe and you click the notification bell you will be made aware when I do another updated read on Cleo. Okay, so this is my read. These are the two cards that popped out of the deck when I was shuffling. It tells me the child is being honest. She's glad that this has now all come to light. So this may take, you know, what's happened in a different direction, but this is what I'm getting. It, it, it was this male and this male was obsessed. I do believe that the mother may have recently found out about it because there's heated aggressive arguments here and very bad omens, bad, bad vibes, bad omens, bad things, infidelities, lies, cheating, everything is what this crow brings. And I've got the drinking or drug problem. Okay. It's here. This is what my ancestors are saying. This is what has come out. This is in my opinion only. And again, for entertainment purposes only, but this is what my read says. So until the next time, you guys, please take care of yourselves and please stay safe. Love you to the moon. Bye-bye for now.